But you know, too often we stop there. And if we stop there, it becomes nothing more than a big glorified ego trip. You really become you in the real sense of the word. When you recognize that we're in us. Uh, you know, I was on an airplane recently. You know, I travel a lot. And I really love airports. Some people hate them. I hate getting to airports. But I love airports because I learn more about human behavior in airports than any place in the world. Watch people. Don't be bored. Don't keep looking at what flight's leaving, you know. Watch all the stuff that's going on in that place, the dynamics of things happening. And when I got on a plane, I sat next to a kid that looked like he just had about everything, you know. He was a beautiful-looking kid, and he was going to uh, a university in Colorado. And we started to talk. And every other word was I and me. I don't like this, and I don't like this, and schools are for the birds, and professors stink, and the world is awful. And I, you know, finally, being a good non-directive counselor, I said, shut up! I said, do you realize how many times in the last 5,000 miles or so you have said, me and I? What about me? What about us and we? He said, who are you?